We picked up recycling every week, um, and we did that through city city uh, city uh, pickup. Well, in 2009, we looked at a way to do this more efficiently. We privatized the recycling. We decided to pick it up every two weeks instead of every week. And we use larger receptacles now instead of these smaller little kind of uh, banker box size bins. We now use a full <coughs> trash can size bin. And what we found is that we are saving, saving $40 million over 10 years. And recycling activities picked up 30%. And uh, that's an example I often use in reframing how government has to work at a point in time when uh, the revenue uh, growth is a little tighter than it's been. And so our challenge is going to be, how do we make a competitive argument for those families to live in Charlotte? How do we make a competitive argument for those companies to live and be in Charlotte? So the first tenet is <clears throat> that we make the investment now to make the whole city stronger. Um, you've seen time after time in cities that certain geographical parts of the cities are really well off and some of them aren't. And in a case like ours, I use Atlanta as an example, um, what happens is those desirable areas become fewer and farther between. People start to move into the outlaying areas and it generates a whole lot of problems, whether it's congestion, whether it's land use planning. Um, it can really, even those areas that today really want that growth, you know, some of the surrounding municipalities, uh, they can get overrun by it if you're not careful. And so, as a city, one of our jobs is to just create the network to make that, make that happen. 